One thing I wanted to do today, and this is completely inspired by dear friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network, is talk about the sales potential for a Nintendo Switch 2 without it even being revealed. We, we have a, well, let's just say 30 plus year history of Nintendo sales data to go through that really shows and paints a picture around Nintendo, their typical generation of sales, and how we can maybe apply this to expectations with the Nintendo Switch 2. And we're gonna do a majority of this heavy lifting through Paul Gale Network's actual website because he made a wonderfully crafted post about this that I think is all the data we need to support how amazingly well the Nintendo Switch 2 is likely to sell. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over to Paul Gale Network's website here where you can see this post brought up that is utterly amazing. It says Nintendo Switch 2 sales expectations based on Nintendo's history. You guys should go follow him on Twitter as well. We'll put a link to this post and his Twitter account down below. Now it says, here is some fun sales history to look at and what to expect from Nintendo Switch 2. This shows how well Nintendo did per generation. A little bit of approximating had to go down with Game Boy because though technically it's part of the same generation as Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the console sales span two generations, including the formers and the N64s. My findings reveal that approximately 43.55% of Game Boy hardware and 64.08% of Game Boy software were sold pre-Nintendo 64, taking this split into consideration shows that Nintendo operated on two systems per generation model. They've actually cleared 100 million in hardware sales four out of five times. Only 3DS and Wii U just missed at 90 million. Nintendo Switch has become the ultimate platform for the company, outperforming all other platforms minus the DS in hardware, though it has surpassed it in software and still has years left in the tank, and even all pairs with the exception being the DS plus Wii, which quite industry shakers as the former was pre-smartphone, providing early touchscreen gaming and two screens as a new concept, Backwards compatibility is a safe measure with their ladder introducing a new way to play via motion control gaming, pro fitness, and that backwards compatibility is a bonus. Basically, that Wii and DS generation was a true lightning in a bottle. Now, Nintendo's output of quality and quantity this entire generation has been incredible. It's third party and independent development support. Excellent. There should be no reason to doubt that the next platform won't be another 100 million seller. We're also dealing with a Nintendo that has done some firsts this generation beyond its own gaming platforms, theme parks, major motion pictures, Lego smartphones, and expanded reach via clothing brands, restaurants, and more. Nintendo Switch 2 is going to build on that success that its predecessor laid out. Whether it eclipses Nintendo Switch remains to be seen, but it's going to be a major seller and a success story at the end of the day is guaranteed. Here are the stats. So for the Nintendo Entertainment System, it sold 61 million, 910,000 pieces of hardware with 500 million in software. Total for the generation is 61, 9.1, blah, blah. It's got a one to eight ratio of systems per game sold. Game Boy, 118.69 million in hardware, 500 million in software, plus the Super Nintendo at 49.1 million in hardware, 379 million in software. Total for that generation, 167 million units holy crap 880 million in software a one to five ratio game boy the uh, part of the su the super nintendo only generation plus the hardware equals out to a hundred million look at this you can see it right here 100.79 million so this is separating the game boy between the two generations it was part of with 700 million a bit higher ratio here at almost a one to seven game ratio now we have the virtual boy plus the n64 we know that wasn't Great, the Virtual Boy didn't do well. So you see the total here at 33.7 million with 225 million in software or a one to 6.7 ratio, almost a one to seven ratio. But Game Boy was actually a huge part of the Nintendo 64 generation. And when you split the sales over here, you see a Virtual Boy plus the Nintendo 64 plus 67 million of that Game Boy sales gave it a total of 107 million in hardware, 405 million in software or a one to four game to console ratio, a low ratio, but a lot of hardware sold. 
Now, we get into the Game Boy Advance era with the GameCube, and you see the Game Boy Advance sold 81.51, the Nintendo GameCube sold 21.74. Conveniently, that all adds up to 103.25 million, 586 million, so you're seeing about a, a 1 to 5 or 1 to almost 6 game ratio. Then we get to the generation of generations. You see the DS plus Wii, 154.02, almost a billion in software. Then you see the Wii, also over 100 million there, almost at a billion in software total for that generation. Just staggering numbers of 255.65 million in hardware with 1,870,610,000, a 1 to 7 ratio. Literally, guys, in terms of just pure raw numbers, not necessarily profits, this was their best generation ever. Lightning in a bottle, utterly insane. Then we get to the 3DS and Wii U. Obviously, 3DS sold about 76 million, almost 400 million in software. Wii U, we know, topped out at 13 and a half, 103 million. You get a total of 89 and a half million in hardware, 495 million in software. Again, another one to five ratio. Then we get to Switch. 132.46 million in hardware. This is just so far, you know, 1,133,230,000 in software. You get a total of one to eight. That's right. Eight and a half, actually, almost nine. So this is literally one of the best hardware to software generations ever. Now, he goes on to say, also in 2024, you're going to be updating the numbers from your all-time Nintendo hardware and software sales article that shows the company's consistency from July of 1983 to the present. From talks I've had with various folks in the know, including partners of the company, Nintendo's future is bright. Belief in President Shintura Furukawa is high. Here's to Nintendo Switch 2. And yes, Paul Gale Network is actually pretty connected in the industry. Uh, especially when it comes to raw sales data and all of that. He's always seems to have the numbers just a little bit before ev the official stuff comes out. Don't be surprised if next week he drops, hey, here's how many Switches sold before Nintendo's even reported it because that's just how connected he is. He just gets access to data early. Guys, I am just really stoked about all of this because I know that's a lot of numbers and a lot of stuff, and what does it really all mean? It means the bare minimum expectation for Switch 2 should be that it sells 100 million in, in hardware because Nintendo always sells 100 million in hardware and that they keep delivering on the software. Is it unrealistic to think that we could see another one system is sold for every eight games that are purchased? Or you could look at it the other way around. Eight games are purchased for every one system that's sold. Guys, that is utterly insane. That is a, a, an attach rate that just blows my mind now like playstation gets some that kind of attach rate they sell over a billion in software over 100 million in systems quite frequently so that attach rate for them isn't quite as insane but for nintendo it is and that's really why this generation was one of the most profitable if not the most profitable for nintendo all the games were being sold at msrp or most of them at msrp 59.99 versus obviously their handheld games that they were selling at 40 and you know console games a bit higher Everything was roughly around the same price and they had insane sales and it was all on one platform and that platform was profitable day one, only became more profitable over the years. I just, guys, Nintendo is in a very good place. I, I think that's the general takeaway here. And anyone who thinks that Nintendo is about to fall on their face didn't pay attention to Nintendo's sales history. Even when those systems that didn't do as well as the prior ones the combined sales of their handheld and home console were so high that every gen but one was a hundred million plus seller. And that is a great takeaway here to show that despite some of the low points in Nintendo's history, the Wii U and 3DS being the lowest point, that was still an almost 90 million in total hardware sales. I, I, I think the, the, the picture is quite clear. It would be very, very difficult for Nintendo to mess up the Switch 2 in such a way that it wouldn't be successful. Nintendo has had a very big audience for several decades, going back to the 80s, guys. Where So we're getting like 40 years of like just having this massive audience. I just don't foresee how there's any possibility that suddenly, after 40 years, that 100 million audience they keep having no longer wants to play Nintendo games. I just don't see that happening. Very obvious to me. Switch 2 is going to be a very, very big success. 
But of course, that's just my interpretation of the data. That's Paul Gale's interpretation of the data as well. You let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you think we're just wild and crazy and being fanboys? Or do you think there's actually something to examining the data in this way? Let me know down in the comments below. And you know what, folks? We'll catch you in the next video.